Hello and welcome. My name is Christopher Banish. I am from Stockton, New Jersey, USA. This lesson is for week four of Intro to Music Production, provided by Coursera.org. In this lesson, I will be teaching you about automation. Automation is actually a topic that I've just touched base on. I've heard about it uh, quite a few times in the past, but I've really only indulged myself in it recently, mainly because of this course in the past week. Um, I watched several videos and I just got a pretty good insight. I don't know everything about automation, um, but I know that it's fantastic because in a, in a mix, in a recording, you can, uh, w while you're playing the song, while you're playing it back to listen, you can manipulate a sound while it's playing so that you get, you, 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 can, you can change the propagation of the sound. Say, you know, if a, um, if somebody, if, if you're laying down a vocal, eh, vocals over like um, drums whatever it may be you can manipulate the the propagation um, of the sound to make it sound like you're passing through something different and I'm gonna give you an insight on that right now um, I'm using machine machine 2 actually um, as my digital audio workstation and um, I've loaded up a project here it's actually not my own project I'm, I'm working on several other projects but I really like this project. It's actually, it sounds, here, I'll, I'll, I'll play it for you just so you can hear it. I hope you can hear it. I'm using really bad headphones right now, but. It goes much further than that, and it sounds totally fantastic. I love it. I actually exported it because I'm going to keep it on my phone to listen to all the time. <laughs> um, so I'm going to take this right here, this instrument, the lead, which are all these notes right here that you see, and I'm going to put a, uh, a filter on it. Now, for machine users, if you don't know how automation works, um, you go to this box over here, um, and you, you add the filter you can it's not just the filter you can do it with so many other things in here but I'm gonna use the filter right now I'm gonna do the uh, low pass mode and I'm gonna turn the cutoff all the way up to 12.5 and um, you'll hear while I play it I'm gonna manipulate the propagation as it's passing through something different and then I'm gonna bring it back to what it was before but you'll 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 hear it so here we go So as you hopefully heard, but definitely can see, right here, oh, sorry, right here in this area, you see it starts to decrease. And then it goes flat, and then it goes back up. And you can definitely hear that as we play it back. So that is one example of how automation can work. It's really fantastic for, say, for instance, if you have um, an instrument that that you don't like. Say, for instance, you you do a um, a guitar chord at the very ending of a song. Actually, just as Loudon showed us in the course uh, earlier this week, um, if it goes too long at the ending of the song, you can put automation. Um, on it basically to slant it off to really end it very smoothly. Um, I haven't really found out how to do that in this program. I would love to just because sometimes, well, really all the time, the the human hand coordination it it's not, it's not even about that. It just doesn't work out to the perfection that you could really get out of it. I will figure out how to do that, but um, that's basically what I have to show you for automation. I'm still learning it myself. I think it's a really fantastic tool, and I hope that it totally benefits you. This has been such a fun video to make, considering I've been so um, enthusiastic about automation, and I know that it's going to do great things for my music in the future. Thank you for watching. I hope you're all doing well. Take care now.